Hello everyone, here's Joali or Turkish Polish Madlad. So today what we're doing is very simple. We are fixing some bugs that I lived in the last episode in our um, weapon. Uh, so we made a current ammo getter and setter and a total ammo getter and setter and we didn't use them as you can see if you check all the references of them. Uh, so simply we're gonna search for uh, underscore current ammo and we're gonna replace it in our code in every place like so. And we're gonna do the same for the uh, total ammo uh, variable. Uh, somehow fast so this is the beginning of our, <laughs> of our episode sorry the, for these little things that I forgot last episode so of course I will correct it on the repo and I will uh, push it uh, with this episode uh, so yeah like this is very good mm, so now we're gonna head to the player weapon and we're gonna uh, make something better here uh, in order to uh, make sure that uh, weapons are initiated correctly uh, so let's just uh, add an index each time we initiate a weapon and at the end just reset it uh, just for the purpose of our tutorial uh, so yeah so this episode what we're going to do is very simple at first, we're gonna need to update uh, Photon Bolt. So for this, we're gonna just go uh, to our package manager, and we're gonna get every package that we have here, here, and we're gonna head to the Photon Bolt uh, free, and we're gonna uh, check if we have the last version of it. Uh, so if you have it nice, uh, mine was uh, one, uh, mine is one point three point point yeah one point two point uh, thirteen. So um, we gonna make it so it's uh, fourteen. So uh, in order, uh, we are gonna download the new version and we are gonna import it in our project. And here in the uh, Photon Bolt, we're gonna uh, make sure that we are not uh, overriding our uh, Photon, Photon Bolt uh, project.json. This uh, have all of our, uh, uh, of our Bolt assets and it's important to not overwrite this because otherwise you will need to remake everything here uh, so yeah let's just make to make it compile yeah so you see that everything is uh, buggy because it's no more uh, compiled correctly here and when you all have compiled the bolt uh, correctly normally it will uh, appear to you that you have no more bugs uh, in your game and you have updated to the new version the new version that gives uh, some bug fixing and everything you know uh, so yeah that's a cool feature that we can uh, see <laughs> in this episode so uh, this is made currently We'll need it in the next episode when we are uh, going to see uh, tokens because I want to make this episode somehow shorter than average uh, because you can see it's late at, at night. I have worked all day and uh, yeah, on Bandala, of course, and uh, this means that I'm tired. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, you see. Um, we gonna head first uh, now uh, to our... Where are we gonna head now? Give me a second. So yeah, we gonna drop our weapon. <laughs> yeah, so in our uh, player command, we gonna add a new key. This is the drop key here. And in the bolt asset uh, weapon object, we gonna add the index. Uh, or the ID better this way and this one will be integer and the other one will be a balloon uh, like so and now we have uh, everything's done okay 
so uh, here now we can go uh, to compile our game like so yeah and uh, what we will go uh, through now we can simply uh, go to our player controller and add the uh, key to all of uh, inputs uh, so yeah let's do this uh, normally uh, we uh, do it like usual so in future videos I will not show how to add these keys because it's boring uh, at some point uh, so uh, let's do the drop key uh, let's say uh, the drop key now is uh, uh, get it uh, through uh, input uh, dot get uh, key and let's uh, take the uh, G key like in uh, CSGO and now let's send it so through input and put uh, like so and like uh, so drop equals drop um, now what we want is to have the execute command to have the drop to read because uh, our weapon uh, gonna uh, do uh, the job of knowing if we are dropping the weapon or not uh, so let's add this here and let's head to the player controller in order to uh, first read it in our uh, simulation and next to uh, read the command that, re uh, uh, that the server received in the input uh, like so. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I much, I'm much clearer when I, I'm tired. Uh, so yeah, this may be the effect of the coffee uh, that I drink uh, sometimes. Uh, so, uh, now we have our drop key and we need a drop function. So what will be our drop function? This function will be very simple. This will just calculate if uh, we are pressing the key uh, or not. So we will have a little function like this, drop current that will have a drop boolean like here and it will be false like so and uh, this key uh, will call another function that we will call drop weapon and yeah we will just pass it here uh, in order to can uh, to compile everything uh, so now uh, what we need is simple uh, we just need to add the drop current in the uh, in the overall uh, execute command function. Drop current will just calculate like in the weapon, so uh, the weapon execute command. If you are shooting, reloading, and everything, so standard uh, logic uh, uh, things. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, now in order to drop a weapon, what we need? Uh, we need uh, to be uh, simply the uh, owner because uh, we want to do it through our state. Why we want to do it through our state? Uh, it's very simple, mainly because uh, we want uh, the state uh, to uh, simply um, um, be the uh, how can you call it uh, be the manager of all our synchronization of elements like weapon that uh, the player owns because the state is always synchronized between all of players uh, so this means that we can simply just take the state and take our weapon list and just simply set the ID to minus one. This will mean simply that we have no weapon at this place. And of course, we're gonna destroy our weapon and uh, set the reference to null. Uh, this way, it's not uh, missing. And of course, we're gonna need simply a command, uh, a callback that will be used in the uh, remove weapon that will just remove the weapon, like so. Uh, and this callback will be called here. Uh, so in our player callback. So in order to make sure that we are calling it correctly, 
we're gonna just add a little function that will be named update weapon list and in which we're gonna proceed like uh, in the last episode where we just gonna uh, add a function which will read at first the index and next we'll verify if the weapon is correctly uh, of course uh, not already removed on this uh, on this uh, yeah on this uh, <laughs> uh, on this player and of course uh, here we're gonna have a player weapon uh, yeah uh, so uh, player weapon uh, removed uh, if you are not the uh, if we are not the, 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 the a player that uh, have not already removed it, uh, so this means that uh, we have already removed it on uh, our player, so we don't need to you know uh, remove it. So uh, you're gonna you're gonna know how it's working. So uh, yeah, here we just remove it like here and now what we need is uh, simple, we need to spawn an item that will represent the drop. Uh, so uh, in order to do that we are gonna create a new uh, drop prefab that will be named drop. And we gonna create a script that will be named weapon drop. Uh, and this script will help us to handle uh, the awesomeness of our uh, weapon drop. Uh, so, uh, how we do it? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, at first, we're gonna need some uh, things that will be used uh, on it, like uh, a physical state, like the network rigid body, like the rigid body itself. And like a collider, a box collider, like so. Uh, so this way we can handle uh, the collision, the uh, placement on the network, the physics, and that's it. Uh, so now let's head to the weapon and let's make some uh, simple physics on it. Uh, so let's say that our weapon uh, is thrown. Uh, so let's have a reference of the uh, network rigid body. Uh, now what we need is simply to reference it in the awake and uh, that's it. So uh, now what we need is simply to have the override of our entity uh, I physics state like so. Uh, and to make sure everything works correctly we're gonna add the uh, libraries uh, that we need for it. And here uh, we're gonna consider that if we are on collision with our collider and uh, the entity is attached and we are the owner and we are not uh, currently uh, in collision with the player, with our player, uh, we're gonna simply uh, divide the uh, velocity by two. Simple. And now we're gonna consider simply if uh, the two cases uh, when we are uh, where we are in the in the in the attached function. If we are the owner, we have the first case where uh, we have initiated the uh, uh, the object with uh, no trans uh, no uh, rotation. So that means the quaternion dot. Uh, so the transform dot rotation equals to quaternion dot identity. This means that uh, the weapon has been uh, just instantiated, instantiated um, with the default rotation, and this means that we need to make sure that the weapon will throw away because it will only instantiate the weapons uh, or weapons drops uh, this way only if the player dies. So this means that simply uh, we are going to throw random uh, ways uh, or weapons when he dies. So yeah, like in CSGO simply. And of course, other uh, else uh, if the other case, when we are looking somewhere, we want to throw the weapon in this direction. So the rotation will not equal to the quaternion.identity and uh, this means that we are going to just add some velocity in this direction. 
very simple very simple very simple like i said so uh before so now i will proceed to some little things like uh adding the uh uh the uh the init uh boolean <laughs> yeah i forgot it and uh this helps us to uh, be sure that the uh, uh, that our entity has been initiated uh, on the uh, on the um, how can I on the metaphysical uh, plane? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's just a security on uh, about uh, this, so we are sure that the he have some velocity and everything. So no, you know, it's uh, simpler like that. Uh, so let's now uh, head to drop and let's make some weapons. So I will just drop uh, uh, weapons that I have for now. And what we're going to do is very simple. We're going uh, in the first place to uh, simply uh, add uh, a view to our uh, drop. So let's say this is the pistol. And let's copy it uh, some more times, like so. Let's copy the shotgun inside, let's copy the machine gun inside, and let's copy the pistol too inside, and let's remove all of them. Um, now I can remove this, and now we have four drops that we can uh, pull in the uh, drop folder here. Oh, sorry. Uh, so drop one, drop two, drop three, and drop uh, four. And let's uh, remove them. Uh, so now I will proceed to uh, a quick time lapse so uh, where I'm gonna go to just uh, set the box colliders uh, in order. So yeah, see you soon. So yeah, now that you have your ribbons uh, done, now we can compile it because we have created new prefabs that we need to register in our files. And now we're gonna add uh, these prefabs to our weapon stat. Uh, because uh, otherwise we can't know, cannot know uh, which uh, drop we need to instantiate at uh, at the moment so let's uh, instantiate simply uh, let's make a reference in a uh, in some public variable in the uh, weapon stats uh, so a game object and let's name it drop like so and now we're gonna head to the player weapon and here we're gonna copy some uh, line of code that I have prepared before and here like so so, like I said, uh, we're gonna uh, use the cam as uh, better option for this. And does the cam or is our function? No. Okay, so now we're gonna instantiate this drop at the uh, camera position dot forward and of course with a uh, rotation uh, that is the camera transform uh, forward ro look rotation. Uh, yeah, so this way we are sure that we are instantiating our weapon correctly so before building our games let's uh, head to our vault wizard uh, here you can check if your id is not uh, is not uh, unbinded uh, when you are updating your game it's uh, it can happen that it unbinds uh, so check this and we're gonna just simply add to the uh, to the uh, scriptable uh, objects that we have created before with the AK, the Glock, and the revolver. We're gonna link the drops to their um, uh, to their correct um, uh, weapon stats. 
uh, I will not do this because I already did it and we're gonna correct some little bugs that we have uh, done uh, so far uh, so here we're gonna just uh, put the every weapon on the uh, default layer like here uh, this one doesn't doesn't need to be on the weapon layer and the drop of this one and yeah everything's good here uh, but in the other way we need uh, these weapons to be on the weapon layer so yes make sure that every weapon here is the on the weapon layer and this way we are sure uh, that we have fixed every bug that we have created last episode sorry for that my bad I didn't check um, uh, uh, too precisely uh, the code that I given you sorry for that uh, I can I can't be perfect uh, every time uh, so here we're gonna just connect our clients like so we're gonna check if the uh, weapon ammo synchronized correctly so oh oh my god oh my god that's weird okay so uh yeah uh, never seen that uh, as a bug maybe maybe it will be fixed uh soon uh so you can see that the uh, ammo are synchronized uh correctly on the uh, clients uh, yeah, but it's synchronized on every client. Didn't I uh, prevent it? Maybe not. Uh, let's check it. Let's debug it at uh, at now. Simply. So in our Ripple, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have init ammo. Here we have init ammo. And uh, does our player call back initiate ammo even if we are the uh yeah even if we are everyone uh, I think we are initiating it and that's not good yeah that's not good because we need to be uh, the uh player uh let's uh take the player uh call back uh, that entity uh, dot has control yeah so this way we are only updating the uh, ammo offer uh, of our player so yeah a little fix uh, a little hot fix I can say so yeah thanks for watching uh, I didn't throw any weapons <laughs> did I no I didn't <laughs> so uh, let's let's throw some weapons Let's throw some weapons. Uh, yeah, so let's throw them in the air. Like we have nothing to lose. I love it. Uh, so let's throw it. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, we are throwing it. Yeah, nice. Super. And we can start a new client and it will synchronize automatically by just simply. Uh, knowing that uh, we have no weapons at uh, the uh, position uh, that we you know at the positions uh, sorry uh, so let's uh, let's change weapons yeah so he have only two weapons and we can throw this one and now we have only the pistol that is not appearing and no one have an error because simply we didn't have made all of the code of our uh, droppable weapons and this one will be made in three different episodes of course uh, because it's a very uh, big uh, feature so thanks for watching uh, see you next time and uh, remember to code every day and check our social media bye